In a prior video, I discussed the merits of self-scoping tables, so I'm going to demonstrate here how I use them to find all the instances of a given operation or signal. So I call these ferret tables. They're located in the quality checks in the Nemo hypermodel, and they consist of a smart package that owns a generic table. So smart packages are special uh, packages inside Magic Draw that can be query based or collection based. So they can run a query and return their elements which point to where they live in the uh, containment tree or you can drag and drop elements in and that is a collection based smart package. So that's what we'll be using here. So I'm going to right click on the operation ferret table and open it in a new tree and I will do the same thing for the signal ferret table I'll open that in a new tree as well. That makes it easy to drag and drop things into it. Now I actually will go ahead and right click and make this floating and drag it out. So here's the signal ferret floating freely. So let's say there's a specific signal that I want to investigate. And as part of a cybersecurity analysis I was running for an NDIA paper, the ground command was the signal of interest. I can go ahead and find the ground command using the search. And I can drag and drop it into the signal ferret. Now when I open this up, and I'll go ahead and turn off the floating, notice that it finds all the usages of the ground command. So here it's set up to find the item flows, the transition triggers, send and accept events, parameters, operations, all the places that uh, this signal's used, and I even have some meta chains that take me to diagrams. And so the secret to making this work, the signal ferret table itself is the scope, and all we have to do is put in a meta chain here that goes from the diagram to its owner, which is a smart package. And then additional content calc is the meta chain hop that returns everything in it. And so there could be, you know, a dozen signals here if we wanted to root them out. This is particularly useful if you are executing a model change request and have a need to identify everything that the ground command, say, touches before we delete it or, or something else happens. So again, this is a really useful way to find all the usages of a given element that are relevant. And let's say I want to see what's going on with all these operations that use it. I can go ahead and I can just select all of these in the containment tree and I can just drag them into the operations ferret here. And I'll drag them in. Now notice the ground command came along for the ride. I'll just remove that from the contents. It's not really hurting anything but now we can open up the operation ferret and notice this shows us all the usages of these operations. So if they have methods, the parameter signals uh, that they take in and out, that sort of thing. So again, you can put whatever meta chain columns you wish, but I use these to help me find out where these functions are used. And so again, the ferret table is a powerful concept. Again, it's a self-scoping table that um, you can drag and drop other elements into to find usages. So let's take a minute and create one just as an example so that you can see how they work if we were building one from scratch. So if I come down here, let's say I wanted to find um, all the part properties typed by a given block. And so we'll go ahead and we'll create a smart package here. We'll call it the block ferret. We'll go ahead and we'll create the generic table that is going to live inside it. And I'm going to drag the table itself in is the scope. So again, we just have to create the meta chain here. And we want the element type here to be blocks. And now we're all set. So if I go up to the uh, logical architecture here, and I'm just going to drag in a, uh, forgot to open it up in a, uh, in its own tree to make my life easier. So now I can come here. Let's say I want to grab uh, the horizon tracker. I can just come up here and drag it into the block ferret. And now what I would care about is where is it used? And so I would just add my custom property here. And I'm putting a typed element of type. 
and we'll say it's a part property. And that's a simplistic one, but again, you could use lots of different uh, things. You could go interface blocks to see what uh, IBDs they're on. Again, the sky's the limit when it comes to this. So again, the important thing is that you've got the ability to drag and drop content into a smart package and then have the, ch the table that's locked to it display all the information that you care about. And again, this is useful as you're doing model maintenance. So again, if you wanted to report for a given um, area of the model, you would make a static table. These ferrets are more useful when you're actually executing changes or dynamic analysis supporting SMEs. When you're done, just remember to go ahead and right click and remove from the contents or just hit delete. You don't want to delete the block from the model. You just want to remove it from the contents and you're all set. Thanks for watching.